All right, uh, McLevin had a take on the NBA officials. He, he's had this for a little while in how they officiate James Harden. You came in kind of on a soapbox here, so, so I'll let you fire away. You know, I every weekend I play hoops, uh, all, you know, aging pickup hoops game, and yeah. we all sit around like my barbershop, and the first thing we talk about is, did you see all those garbage calls on James Harden last night? And to confirm this, I asked Stats Inc., like, how many times does Harden get fouled? He's shooting more free throws in, in his first 10 games than any player in the history of the sport. He surpassed Will Chamberlain from 69-70. He's getting 15.1 per game. He's making more shattering. But, but, okay, but I, am, yeah. I'm blaming the officials? Yes, that? because they're making bad calls. They, and wait, and once it comes to postseason, they don't make those calls at all, and the Rockets lose. We've seen Why are move. they calling them these fouls then? Be, I have no idea. I do not know. Like, well, they, I need a little bit more substance than you just don't like that. I mean, Harden, I don't like Harden's initiating contact. Like the officials are are lazy. And in Memphis on a Tuesday night, they think no one's watching and they're calling garbage <laughs> fouls. I do not understand it. But I but I don't know what their logic would be. Are they are they trying to have the stars score more points here? They just they just not looking closely enough with the way Harden's initiating contact. They they let a lot of con you have to let contact go in the NBA. So because it's on the perimeter, they call everything on Harden in a way we've never seen in NBA history. Is he is he the most unstoppable guy? Should he be the the guy in the history of the league who's getting more free throws than anyone else? Twice as many as Michael Jordan? No, he's just rubbed. He runs in. But he elbows. has the ball more than anybody yeah. in the history of the game, right? I don't know. Is that fact? I mean, aren't there other point guards you've had in their hand as much? Who are shooting? Not who shoot like him. Yeah, so he has the ball. I, I think he has the ball more than any other player. But when you watch it, you're like, what was that foul? Card? Don't you say that every time you watch a Rockets game? What? Like, why are they calling that? He initiates, he takes on contact really well. And sometimes it doesn't alter him as much as it, it probably would somebody else. Therefore, you don't think it's that much of a foul. So he does initiate it. He's not afraid of it. He'll take it to the hoop. Um, I don't like that step back three where he has the leg, you know, out to the side where he draws contract, contact there. I think that's cheap. Um, but he, if you watch him play, and because I watch because I love scores and I'm fascinated that his ability to get easy shots and beat you going to his left is amazing. Where I go, how do you let him? I would never let him go to his left. You want to take the step back three, take that. I'm not letting you get in the lane here. But, I mean, there's bad defense. But I, I am fascinated that he has this innate ability to play angles. And that's what basketball is. The great players understand an angle. You know, whether it's offensively or defensively, it's Bill Russell blocking a shot or, you know, it's it's going to be, uh, you know, throw out somebody. Uh, you know, Luka Doncic plays the angle so well, unbelievably well. And Harden plays the angles. He puts you in a position there that is a disadvantage. So, uh, you know, the officiating has been a problem in the NBA for a long, long time. They never called enough on Shaq. Or Wilt, they called too much with Jordan and Bird and, you know, the phantom calls. And, you know, so we've had this for a long, long time, McLovin. Well, I think what's going to happen is they don't call him in the playoffs. His, they, the numbers go way, way down. And he can't hit a three in the playoffs. It always happens. He's going to win two games and he'll go two for 14 in a, from three. How many times have we seen this movie with the Rockets? It feels like it's setting up again where they're going to have the best regular season record and fall apart. Well, they're the not going to have the best regular season record. Or they'll have a very. They're seven and two now. Yeah, I mean, they're they're a good. They're a good team. They're not a great team. They're, they're not Clippers, Lakers. Yeah, but they're right in the same mix where they always are. Yeah, but I I have to credit Harden because he's continued to do this, and I can't understand that there would be some directive from the NBA to go, hey, make sure Harden gets to the line sixteen times tonight, no, or I, I just, or don't call this or call. They study James Harden more than any other player in the NBA right now. The officials do. I know that for a fact. They study tape on Harden to make sure that they are calling it correctly. The step back jumper, was it a trap? What other player are they getting a tape and studying it? Or the commissioner responds to a tape on James Harden. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.